and welcome to Lydon Hill. And after the huge excitement of racing in the dark, it's on to day two and the prospect yet again of another great day of action at the home of British Rallycross. Vittles is absolutely flying! Four laps of racing here for qualifying number one. The supercars here at Lennon Hill are raring to go. As we've got the ready to race sign up there, and oh, there may have been a little bit of a false start there by Sellers, but Sellers is going to go down into P5 as we head then down in towards turn number one. Get a lovely shot here as three cars enter into the Joker, and I think you'll find that O'Donovan here and Steve Hill have stayed out. Yes, they have. So they are on the normal lap here. So Steve Hill will be in second position, but Ollie O'Donovan has got an absolute flyer through the final chicane. They do indeed come. Steve Hill a little bit messy there, and it is indeed O'Donovan who comes in to the Joker. Only a four lap race here, and will Toehill lead or Will it be O'Donovan? O'Donovan then coming through the chicane, and Toehill's got him here. He does indeed. And as it stands then, O'Donovan is going to be into P2 in this race here. Toehill is going to take race number one victory. Cracking effort from him. It's going to be then in second position, O'Donovan. In third is going to be Hal Ridge. About to go green light racing here for race number two of qualifying number one. And Ovenden looked like he may have got a little bit of an extra push there, a little bit of an extra start. And I tell you what, it's a fantastic start from Godfrey. Terrible day yesterday. But actually, he's only going to filter in into second position. Thorne then will take P1. Uh, into the Joker then does indeed come Jack Thorne. Is he going to have done enough here to be ahead of Vitols? Vitols then on the right-hand side of your screen. They're almost side by side here. Vitols is not going to be ahead of him. So Jack Thorne's done the job here. He is up ahead. So Vitols wants to win Q1, he's going to have to do it by making an overtake. Toehill will be watching and thinking, this is great news for me. They probably will end up battling for position here. For the final couple of corners, then Vitols has actually dropped off the pace over the last lap or so. It is going to be Thorne once again, as he did yesterday in qualifying one. He picks up the victory here. And we are green light racing. Ovendum with an absolute flyer here from P2. Squeezes Hal Ridge onto the grass. There's contact between the two of them. They're going to take a bollard out. Hal Ridge then is going across the field here. He's going to end up being in last position. And Ovenden then is going to be in P3. And that is, well, the strangest joker I've ever seen being taken, that's for sure. And well, the big winner of this situation is Steve Hill. Steve Hill leads the way up the hill. He's got Salah in behind him. Ovenden has got damage to that car. Front three, though, are very tightly packed indeed. Steve Hill, though, leading the way. Through that chicane they come. Ovenden then is into the Joker, trying to cover off Flitney. Howell Ridge will stay out then to the front three. And there's the merge then between Seller and the Ovenden. Ovenden squeezes Seller onto the high side. That's the dirty side. It's very tough to get traction through there. And Ovenden has been in the wars today, as Ovenden does make a last gasp grab for that P1. We've only got a couple of corners to go, and Ovenden is absolutely flying here in towards Paddock Bend. We've got the chicane to go. Hill gets through there relatively nicely. Bit of curve on the inside, bit of curve on the outside. Across the line we go, and Steve Hill will take race number one. And we are green light racing, and Vitols has not got off the line well here. There's definitely an issue for sure. And as we head then down in towards turn number one, it is indeed Jack Thorne round the outside. And he does get the lead then on Toehill. So Toehill has lost out here. And then you've got Ollie O'Donovan just in behind there in P3. Those three have stayed out. Both the leaders then come into the Joker. And I'm wondering what issue Vitols has to his car. It'd be such a shame if he has something that is terminal. Jack Thorne then is going to indeed reminisce like he did yesterday about the good times and how quick he can be. He's going to take the base victory here. Ovenden has done the job so far. And will he be able to hold on? Front three separated by absolutely nothing. You can cover them with a loincloth at this stage. They are that close. Ovenden with a big, big error. Oh, he jumps over the curb. He's not taken the curb. He's gone off the circuit there. So I'm wondering as to whether that might be a penalty. And the front three are very, very close. Ovenden again taking so many bumps there. He is indeed going to take P1. Oh, it's ever so close. And we are green light racing. All three at the front get a very good start. Ollie O'Donovan gets a phenomenal first phase, but his second phase has let him down here ever so slightly as Jack Thorne does go up into the lead of this race. He has been so quick all weekend, and ultimately he is fast here once again. He takes the lead up towards the devil's elbow. He's got Ollie O'Donovan just in behind. Look at Vitols though. Vitols already up to P3. We know how quick this guy is. If he doesn't have any issues, he is 
a world star in the making through Paddock Bend. Once again, Vitols takes it so differently to everybody else. He's so fast through there. Through Dasha Kane he comes, across the line he comes. And here we go then. Will Jack Thorne have the lead or will Vitols be up ahead? He will not. Thorne does hold that lead. It's great driving from him. And he is in the lead here. Vitols, who does have a good car underneath him. Remember, he has got magic in that engine for sure. The team have done a sensational job. So we head then down in towards Paddock Bend. And you can see the aggression of Vitols is able to take through there. On the exit, you can see he's almost completely sideways. As they come through then that final chicane, it will be Thorn that will take P1. It will be P2 then for Vitols in P3. It will be Ollie O'Donovan with loads of smoke coming out the back here. We are green light racing here and Ovenden just squeezes Godfrey and almost looked like he wanted to go through into turn number one, but it's going to be Flitney and Ovenden into the Joker here. And the front three, uh, as it sails, will indeed be Toehill. It will indeed be Godfrey. And then in just behind them is Hal Ridge up towards that devil's elbow and Hal Ridge getting completely sideways there, grabs the grass and that is Spectacular looking, but ultimately not the quickest way here. Godfrey already losing a little bit of time, and actually looks like his right door is ajar. It looks like the right door is trying to open up there. Toehill, big opportunity to win this semi-final. Big opportunity to indeed close that gap in the championship order, or indeed potentially take the lead. As we come then through Paddock Bend once again. Godfrey is on the limit of the cut. We will see Ovenden now coming to turn number one. There we go. Great merge then. Uh, great camera shots as well. As actually, it looks like Godfrey's got part of his car missing at the back. He doesn't want any more misfortune here. But that does not look good. Yeah, the rear bumper is completely hanging off. Hopefully, that is not affecting his tyres. We don't want to see a puncture or anything like that. But as they cross the line, Toehill does take the victory. Godfrey will take second. Ovenden will be in third position. Hold the position on Bellaby. There is contact between the two drivers. Look at the difference in size here. Bellaby's going to have to go all the way around the outside if the move's going to be done. Room left on the outside. BMW though on the power nice and early. And Volok does get P2. Stayed out for two laps to then take the Joker and comes out ahead here, but it's not over. Oh, it's not over by a long chalk. Oh, there's big contact between the two. Oh, it's a big one. They're both into the wall there. I believe Bleasdale. Bleasdale's got to go for it up the inside. And if he runs wide here, then the door might be open for Bellamy to potentially retake the position. It's not quite going to work out then. Bleasdale does take the race victory here for the Super Nationals. They're racing and oh, John Cross has not got off the line at all here. It's a terrible start then. As we head then down in towards turn one, Chesson's drift for the first time of four. And it is a fantastic start then from James Harold who leads the way here with Josh Sturkins just in behind. And as you can see, Phil Collard is already... P3 is a wheel missing! The VW V2 has lost a wheel here! The wheel is still travelling in the background! And Sturkins then has indeed taken the lead of this race. Without any mistakes then coming towards that final chicane, we'll take the chequered flag and the victory here will be Phil Collard in second. Round number seven of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship when we are green light racing and Thorne's got a terrible start here. Toehill will go into Chesson's Drift into P1. Brilliant start then from him. Godfrey and I believe Ollie O'Donovan have both gone through the Joker here. So there we have it. Into the leader race though, it is Toehill. Thorne will be looking to indeed try and get up ahead. Thorne has been so quick in both rounds this weekend, but ultimately it's come to the final and it's just gone wrong. So already down into P2. Watch out for Vitols. Thorne comes in and that frees up Vitols. Can the Latvian produce it once again? To come out of Chesson's Drift then. And it is now the lead for Toehill. So Toehill stretching his legs out in front here. As we come up to the top of Harry Hill, grabbing a little bit of grass there. Try and help with the rotation of the car. Toehill is in, well, he's in the golden seat right now. He's got that golden ticket. Can he potentially go out and take the victory? It's going to be close between these two. But Toehill is doing all of the hard work right now. Jack Thorne is being held up. Ovenden is holding him up here. Bittles is definitely closing in here. Oh, this is going to be super, super close. As the leader and P2 come through the Joker section here. Oh, Jack Thorne's got it. He wasn't held up enough. He's taking the lead. I can't believe it. What an incredible lap. As soon as he's got past Ovenden, he's found that extra edge. He's been the standout this weekend. Super Sunday has come strong here for Thorne. He's taking the checker flag. He will take the victory here of round seven of the 
Five Nations British Rallycross. In second spot, there will be Toehill. That is huge for him. Vitols, he tried everything, but indeed it will only be P3 today.